And what a bitey! We have a new tool to the arsenal. And this one here, now this is a bit special, this one. Because, uh, well, I'm going to go into what this is. It's a wee aluminium box there. Uh, three BNCs coming out of it. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about this. We also get a USB cable. And we get a few T's. Well, as you know, with everything on this channel, this is not a promotion. I do not promote products. I uh, did not get this sent to me. I bought this off this guy. Now, the guy that uh, his name is on there, Definitive Diagnostics, he is a fellow YouTuber, and he has developed and, well, invented this, and... What is it, you may ask? Well, that's a good question. It is what he calls a CAN tool. So you can diagnose your CAN signals and you connect it via your scope. And there's also software with it as well. And he gives instructions on, on how to download it. And so he sends a, a link uh, with you. So when, whenever uh, he told me the price of this, uh, I couldn't really not get it. Uh, now, the price he sell he will be selling these for, uh, I'm not too sure, retail or whatever, the price I got for it, I thought it was very good value for money. It is not expensive. But don't ask me the price of it because you need to ask this guy. And here is this guy, Definitive Diagnosis, a.k.a. Glenn Norris and he uh, has invented and developed this CAN diagnosis tool and uh, he didn't send it to me off bat I, I asked him for it and I asked him how much money he needed for it and uh, I sent him the money and uh, I got it in a few days so we're gonna have a wee play and uh, just that's his channel there so he has done a couple of videos on it. There is our CAN bus tool version 2 demonstration a video posted a week ago so he said in that that he was uh, making a batch of them uh, for sale and uh, I made contact with him and says oh, I'll have one of them how much how much are you looking for it. So his channel there he does a lot of uh, bench experiments and as I say he's uh, he's been uh, Doing a lot of Canvas uh, research into, you know, serial decoding and uh, stuff like that. So there's a, there's a brilliant video there. Canvas test procedure. And uh, he does a lot of things with uh, signal generators. There's a Canvas ECU dash emulator. Um, so there's loads of stuff there on the channel. Pretty in-depth stuff now. So it's a... Uh, it's a different level from the usual stuff. There's one there. How does a scan tool, uh, scan tool request fault codes? 258 views, you know? So, yeah. So this one here that I've highlighted, uh, the one that's uh, on the top right, Combust Analysis Tool, that he's uh, showing the software that comes with the tool. He, he, he provides a link uh, to his Google Drive and you download it. And that gives you the drivers for the tool. And uh, there's another piece of software. So we'll have a wee look and uh, see if we can see if this thing is working, going to work. So the first thing we see here, now in US is going to be the case. So that's the instructions on how to download the software there. But bus speeds 500, 250, or 125 kilobits, kilobytes per second only there. And uh, mm, well, that means that it's not gonna work on this Italian stallion of mine because mine only runs at uh, 50 kilobits per second, the CAN network on it. 
But uh, we'll show you how uh, you can measure that with the Pico and determine if this is going to work. So I have a car in that uh, this will work on. So it's a wee bit newer than, than my Alpha. So this is our setup. And we have our, our box with a trigger coming out of the box. So th this uh, cam tool, this box, is a transceiver. It's, it's not a receiver. So, you know, if you're reading CAN on a scope or whatever, it's just receiving the CAN signals, but this can actually interact. Uh, this will pulse out uh, a trigger here on, uh, on channel A there, and that's uh, CAN high there. So down there goes to, uh, we're just plugged into the breakout box uh, in the DLC, and this one here's CAN low. And we'll just turn the ignition on and see if we have comms. Looks good. So what I did say earlier on was uh, this wee CAN analysis tool uh, of Glenn's only works on bus speeds of 500, 250 or 125 kilobits per second only. And uh, well, we can determine that from uh, a CAN trace here on the Pico. So we'll get a few captures there. Uh, we'll get something up on the screen here. Hopefully. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, what we'll do then is we'll put our measuring cursors and you want to put that on the, on the smallest uh, amount of uh, data packet, the smallest data packet. So we'll just measure that one there. We'll measure the can high, the green one. Can high is on, on C here, channel C at the minute. Uh, we'll move it around in that. Just to be a wee bit more precise. So you need to be pretty on the money with this sort of uh, measurement. And yeah, that's not bad. So if we look down in the bottom corner, the bottom right there, see here, it says 488.8 kilohertz. There we go, 498.8 kilohertz. So that's near enough, that's, uh, that equates then to uh, 500 kilobits per second. Okay, and uh, with the Pico, uh, you know, you can do a serial decode here. Uh, so you need, to, you need to know that, you need to measure that sort of first. If uh, we go into serial decode here, and uh, I've already had set up there, but I'll show you here, create, can. So it defaults to the 500 baud rate there, and we'll look at can high, which is in channel C. We'll click OK. I'm going to 500 kilobits there. And hit OK. Hit OK there. And uh, OK, we'll run that. So that's going to look at the, the data on the can high. And it's far too quick at the moment, so we'll uh, we'll go up to about two hundred milliseconds per division, and I'll start logging the data down below there. So the the idea there is uh, in this this part this part here is if you see if you see any sort of red uh, lines, it, uh, it denotes an error, but there's reams and reams of data there going on. You know, so you'd, you'd spend uh, a lot of time going through all that. But this we can analysis tool uh, can also read all that. So we'll just introduce the software. And there we go. And um, we'll clear that. And we'll start there. So it, it, uh, it detects the bit rate here. So you don't need to tell it as well. So I didn't put that in there. So we'll hit start. And 
there's all the, the ADs there, all that OX572, that's all the ADs there, and that's all the transmissions. So what you can do is you can select one of these IDs. I'm gonna find one here. Oh yeah, OX320. So we're gonna gonna concentrate on that one because uh, that uh, the baits in here. So that's a that, uh, that's a bait, and uh, each one of these individual ones then is a bit. So what we can do if we watch just about where where I have the mouse there, I'm gonna put. Uh, the indicators on in this car just and we'll see if that change so that's the indicator turning right and we'll see just above my cursor there uh, that bit has changed and we'll put the that's the indicators off then we'll put the indicators to the left so that's the left hand indicator uh, click on there and that's that uh, that message there so anyway what use is this now a lot of people would probably say you know well sure you know there's nothing new about this you can you, you know what's the invention they keep saying that Glenn has invented this you know well this is a transceiver as I said and uh, you know it's it's the idea is that it speeds it all up Instead of having to look through reams and reams of data if you've got a CAN fault or an intermittent fault, this, this comes into play if it's got an intermittent fault. So you see the error counter there, uh, here. So it will count any errors that's gone through all that data that's occurring. And then you can select any, any module here, any multiple modules. That's all those modules there that are here, you know. It's all those IDs, they're all... Uh, IDs which relate to a module or something like that. So uh, we've already showed a, a, a bit going on there. What we could do now is, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that for a second. Go back on the Pago. I'm gonna do away with that serial decode. So you may notice we have three channels open and the blue one at the bottom is, uh, is a trigger, which, uh, is the transceiver part of this. So I'm sure uh, Glenn will, will, will see this video and uh, if, there's any, if, there's, if there's any mistakes I've made, he's, he's more than welcome to uh, chime in. Uh, so let me see this, set this up. So we're gonna go to two milliseconds per division. That's where Glenn says this works best, so. And uh, this uh, channel one then is a trigger from the tool, the analysis tool. So we're gonna set a single trigger here. And uh, Glenn says to set it about two volts or three volts. So there's about two volts there. And we're gonna hit a fault. So, and we'll see that, that in there is still running. So we'll just go onto that screen for the moment and we'll, we'll do a quick, very, very quick fault here. Let me see, see if it's detects it. So you see the trigger saw that and uh, that has triggered the trace and we see the fault there in our, in our CAN signal. So this is, this is brilliant for intermittents. If you have an intermittent fault on your can, this will see it right away. And uh, if we go into the scan tool there, or the analysis software there, we can see the error count uh, number one, and the ID is, uh, is shown as well. So that ID, now if you had an error count and there was a whole stack of IDs there. Well, that would be sure shooting an indi indicator that you know you had a wiring fault. So, say you're going along a road and you went over a bump or something, and it flipped up error current one, and you got a con fault, and there was a whole stack of error codes. 
well, it's probably a you know a main wiring fault in the in the bus there. So uh, yeah, so th that's that's uh, the advantages of it. And uh, yeah, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. We need a, a real world can fault. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I think that's it for this video. There's not much more I can really show you. Um, it takes me, it's going to take me to play about with it. And, uh, you know, if anybody wants to chime into the chat there, uh, Glenn especially, if there's anything I've said that is incorrect or any other advantages that he wants to put on it. And I must stress, of course, on this channel there is no product placement. I am not promoting this product. I have bought this and I'm just showing it. So, many thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. As ever, and all the best. And here's Poppy. Hi, hi. High five. Bye bye.